My name is Eileen McCusick, and I'm the author of Tuning the Human Biofield. People ask me what it is I do, and I like to say that I'm a tuner of out-of-tune bodies, literally. And you want to know how I do it? With tuning forks. Just like an instrument gets out of tune, so does the human body. Stress and accidents, injuries and traumas, these things all put noise in our signal and make us out of tune. Well, we know that the body is physical, right? We think of our bones or our organs, and we know that it's chemical, and we think about hormones or um, blood in our bodies, but we're also electrical, and that's something that's often overlooked. But if you think about it, when you get an EKG, they're measuring the electrical activity in your heart, or an EEG is measuring it in your brain. So we really need our electrical signaling to work properly in order to function in the right way. And that's where I come in. So when I'm working on someone, I have them on a treatment table and I start about six feet away from their body and I walk in towards them with a tuning fork. And what I'm doing is I'm listening for places where there's noise in the signal. And when I hit that kind of place, it's very evident because the sound that the fork is making will actually change. It might go sharp, it might go flat, it might go full of static. And not only do I hear it, but the person who's on the table can hear it as well. And once I find these spots, I just stay in them. And it gives the body an opportunity to hear itself. And once the body becomes aware of its own noise, it will actually recalibrate itself. It will retune itself back to what I call its factory settings. We've seen it over 20 years of clinical experience help resolve things like anxiety, pain, adrenal burnout, digestive disorders, tendencies towards headaches or migraines. I had had chronic mid-back pain from adrenal burnout and we were able to clear that up. I had terrible digestion, gas, bloating, heartburn, indigestion. That's all gone. I can eat whatever I want, dairy, gluten, nothing bothers me anymore. And that is strictly from the work with the tuning forks. So if this sounds new, it is. And if it sounds radical, it is. And if it sounds unbelievable, it was definitely unbelievable to me when I first started making these discoveries. I have a master's degree in education. I'm very interested in science and numbers and very evidence-based. And ultimately, the more I learned about this and started to understand how and why it works, I started to see the sense in it. I have actually mapped the biofield. Just like researchers have mapped the brain, I've discovered this pattern in everyone in the field that surrounds their body. And I'm able to access specific memories in specific places and treat those memories at their source point in the field. For example, every time you feel sad and you experience the, the waveform of sadness, the record of that particular feeling gets stored off this part of your body in your field. Every time you feel angry, that waveform gets stored here. The field is also timelined, meaning that as we generate information, it moves away from us. So our fields extend about five feet away from our body, and information that I find at that outer edge is related to your birth, and then your infancy, and then all the other years fall like tree rings, up to your body, which is current or recent. That means that if you had a traumatic birth, for example, I can go find a place five feet off of your right knee where there'll be one of those pathological oscillations. I recently treated a woman who had anxiety and she had had anxiety for as long as she could remember. And she'd been in and out of therapy, she'd been on and off drugs, she'd never gotten any relief from her symptoms. And within five minutes of having her on my table, I discovered five feet off her right knee that she had had a very traumatic birth. And so I said to her, did you have a very traumatic birth? And she said, oh my God, absolutely. Like I almost died, my mom almost died, it was horrible. And I said, well, here's your problem. 
Tracks that get laid down early become the tracks of our lives. And the very first stress response you ever had, you redlined your nervous system. So now, every time you have a stress response, you're going into the extreme. And so just by hanging out, and I think it was for maybe 15 or 20 minutes, in that spot, her anxiety settled down. And within three sessions, she came back and she said, for all intents and purposes, it's gone. I feel like I've only just begun to scratch the surface of what can be done in the biofield. And I would love to see more research, more science, much more than there already is. If consciousness is not only in the brain, but also out here, it raises the question, where do I end? Where do you begin? Science is confirming what spirituality has been saying all along. We really are connected. We really are one.